Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 43 of the Pichu London Cup Series. And today, we're at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. On the pole for this race is the number 16 of Cassie Reynolds. On his outside is the 77 of Stewie Moore. Row 2 has Niall O'Hare and Claire Richardson. And then row 3 has Foster Henderson and Landon Smith Jr. David Aline and Hayden Stringer, one of the part-time cars in this field, is in row four. And Dmitry Barnofsky and Zachary Fitz Fitzwater round out your top ten. And now we take a look at all the other drivers starting here in tonight's race. The 40-lap showdown here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The long race of the Coca-Cola 600. And it's a huge race for most of these drivers, all looking to add their name among the winners at this racetrack at Charlotte Motor Speedway among the winners of the Coca-Cola 600. And there's the rest of the order and there's Colin Francis in this ride here today. He's in the 66 in today's race. And we our, our last race was at Circuit of the Americas and it was won by the 15 of Unleash Your Quillies. But he will have to start from the back today in 30th. It'll have to work his way up. But Unleash Your Quillies did get that victory earlier in last week's race at Circuit of the Americas. So the 15 has a win, and he's hoping to earn some more points today to lock himself into the playoffs. We're almost to the halfway point of the season, folks, so things are going to get much more intense. 16 drivers will be in the playoffs. I mentioned that earlier, but again, 16 drivers in the playoffs. Not all winners might be in the playoffs, so every point matters from here on out as the 16 Cassie Reynolds leads the field to the green flag and the Coca-Cola 600 is underway And the 16 off to a great start now, right now. That 16 is Cassidy Reynolds already with a win this season. Uh, he won back at Dover, so he got a win earlier in Dover. Looking at another win to hopefully lock himself in the playoffs. So far so good for lap one. As Stewie Moore is going on the high line and he's having a little bit of trouble trying to stay, trying to stay in the groove. Nearly hitting the wall, making some contact. And there you see the 53, Darian Town is going to try to make it for the position. And the three wide battle in the middle. They're all racing really hard right now. Three wide. All trying to gain positions, gain those valuable points to make the playoffs and also you just need a win and you need to get a lot of points so they're all trying to win and get in four wide oh they're making contact there they go Stewie Moore goes around Stewie Moore is around and Allison Rain was also hit and they were four wide another crash in front of them as the 20 Alex Hawkins was caught up in a wreck and more cars spinning as Coda Butcher's around, and so is Kyle Gordon. And it's our first caution of the race. Handful of cars spin. They were going four wide, and it did not work well. And Stewie Moore was caught in the middle. He gets turned. And let's take a look at the uh, what happened under caution. And look at this, four wide. <laughs> you knew it was not going to work. Darian Tan tried whatever he, I don't know what Darian Ton was thinking like he was trying to cut in he was trying to make a move there and he ends up spinning Stewie Moore 
goes around. The 77 goes around in the middle of the pack. Collides with the other two cars. There's Allison Rain was also hit. And they were trying to get back on the apron. It didn't work out well as for Steve Mars. It looks like he was also turned. It looks like the 33 was was hit. It looked like that the 17 of Foster Henderson, uh, he got forced down the, below to the apron. Yeah, he got forced down to the apron by Darian Town. And uh, Town ends up forcing... 17 to clip the 33 and the other cars that are involved there you see Juan Rodriguez and Maxwell Smart also caught up and there's Darian and Kyle Gordon goes around Paul Barber's around and Coda Butcher just went around and I'm not sure what the 18 of Ryan Durani was trying to do here but takes out the 99 the 99 is able to continue the race after being spun out and he's able to continue to run Wow, big crash here early on here at Charlotte. Wow, huge crash to uh, kick off the night here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And three cars out of the race already as Forsty Mars, Stewie Moore, and Alex Hawkins are out of the race right now. So we're back to the green as the 16 Cassie Reynolds continues to lead. Claire Richardson right behind him in second. Oh, double zero. Looked like he nearly got turned there, and he saves it. Almost had a similar spin to what happened earlier in the race. A close call there by the double zero, Christian Vargas. He nearly gets turned. And a battle for the lead ahead of them as you see the 43 of Claire Richardson is going to go for the lead. And she has got the lead away from Cassidy Reynolds. Claire Richardson makes it through. 43 car leads. And the 43 is your new leader here at Charlotte. Third place is Wyatt Thomas. And fourth place is Isaiah Burnesh. And oh man, another near spin. Niall O'Hare nearly, nearly tur got turned. And he is able to save it as well. So, wow, twice, two cars nearly spun, and somehow they save it. And now O'Hare is able to continue. That was a close call there by the 14. I think his teammate was trying to draft him or something, and might have gone wrong. But, well, the 14 is uh, thankful that he is still running here today in this race. A lot of beating and banging here going on behind in the back. Now a battle between teammates with Landon Smith Jr. against Niall O'Hare. Nearly three, and now they're three wide in the middle pack. They're three wide, all trying to make a move. As the 43 hangs on to the lead right now, the 41 is able to pull ahead. And a nice run there by Landon Smith Jr. He's able to pull ahead. Now we see 37 here. I believe that is Alexander Rowe also going for the position against the nine of Nathan Ormond. And right now Ormond is currently the only driver with two wins so far this season. Cassie Reynolds trying to add his name to that list. Trying to be the Cassie Reynolds is trying to be the second driver with two wins in season 43, along with Nathan Ormond. And they're three wide again. Oh, a little contact. Oh, man. That was a close call. Oh, no. The 19 is on the apron. Oh, the 19 went on the apron. He gets hit from behind. And now he is very slow. Oh, man. Something, something must have gone wrong when he was hit from behind like that. And the 19 loses a ton of positions. Oh, Giovanni Castiglia was hit from behind. And now he goes loose and he nearly spun and now he's losing a lot of positions. Oh man, this is getting intense. There's the 11 car, Samet Oscon. Bowling for position already right now as the cars are really, really starting to get competitive. 
There's a two car, by the way. That is Garrett Albertson making a battle. Another near spin. It looks like, oh no! 21 goes around. And that is Connor Breen that went around in turn three. It looked like he was going to save it. Oh no! Quinn Moore was hit. And the yellow will be out. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, this is insane. This this is what happened. Darian Town made contact with Connor Breton and then he tried to get back at him, but he gets turned around. There he goes. Connor Breton is around in turn three. Oh, he got right into Darian Town, and that'll bring out the caution and Quint Moore. Not sure how he was not able to avoid the 21, but he gets hit, and his night might be done. Oh, Quinn Moore with a hard hit. Looks like his night is over. Claire Richardson is in the lead. He, she continues to hang on to the race lead. And we're heading down for pit stops under the caution flag. Not sure if this will be one set of stops or this will be uh, there will be then uh, there will be another set soon. But excuse me. Now's the right time for them to pit under the caution flag. The leaders are coming down to pit road now, and. The caution again came out for Connor Breton as he gets turned by Darian Town. Brings out our second caution of the race. Here they come. The leaders are on pit road right now getting their fresh set of tires and getting more fuel in. And not sure if it's going to be one, a one stop race or maybe even a two stop race. But we'll have to wait and see. And coming out first off pit road is the 43 Clay Richardson. Off first, and what a fast stop by Wyatt Thomas. Comes out second. Was not even close over Cassie Reynolds. Wow, what a fast stop for the 52 team. And now they're running in the second position. About to get the green at the halfway mark at Charlotte, and we are back to the green flag. Landon Smith Jr. just took third spot away from Cassie Reynolds. And now here comes a battle for the lead as now it's a little loose now. Oh man, Wyatt Thomas trying to take it away. Here they come for the lead. Here comes Landon Smith Jr. on the bumper. He's, trying, he's, not, he's not taking any chance. He's going for it. He's taking chance here. He's going for it. Landon Smith Jr. to the lead. Can he? Ha does he have it? He got it. He's got him. There is right behind Steve Morgan. And this is being competitive. Look at these cars pet bunching up. More cars getting loose. And Landon Smith Jr. is your new leader. How about the 41 taking the lead? At the halfway mark, we're not. This race is halfway done, and intensity is heating up. And here comes 37. Alexander Rowe just took second spot away. And now look at Nathan Ormond on the bottom. He's going to try to go three wide for third. Nathan Ormond takes third spot away. How about that? The nine car works his way up to the top three. And we have a battle for the lead. And here comes Rowe. Can Rowe take the lead? And he's got the 41, he takes the lead away. And Alexander Rowe is your new leader. Wyatt Thomas trying to come back in the third spot. And Nathan Ormond puts the block on the number 52. Nathan Ormond trying to get his third win of the season here before the halfway point. Nine car has been very strong in these past couple races. They've been the ones to watch. Nathan Ormond trying to get his third win of the season here tonight. And Landon Smith is going for his second. Alexander Rowe, he led most of the laps at Dover, and then he had and then he took green flag stops, and then the caution came out, and it really ruined his chances to win at Dover. And now Rowe's trying to get a win here at Charlotte. Here comes Cassie Reynolds, fourth place. And now Reynolds takes fourth away from Wyatt Thomas. And here comes Steve Morgan into fifth place. And 
Clay Richardson has been struggling since the um, start of the start of the re since the restart. 43 ran up front early in the race, and now she has been struggling, trying to find a groove. Now she has dropped way back, so the 43 is not doing great right now. But is the 37 going to hang on for the win? Alexander Rowe is trying to hang on for this win. Hayden Stringer Colin Fran and Colin Francis are in the top 10. Two drivers with a limited schedule this season. Both in the top 10 showing off they still got it. Landon Smith Jr. in second right now. He's trying to get his second win of the season. And Alexander was trying to get on the board and wins here in season 43. Steve Morgan is not is still not is still without a win this season in the fifth in fifth. See what happens in the final laps. Battle for the position as Daniel Bouchard trying to get by the number six, Isaiah Bernesh. That's the middle and down the line, and these drivers are staying conservative for now. No word if there's going to be another set of stops under green, or will, or, or is that going to be the only set of stops tonight? Because that was like before halfway, so I'm not even sure if that's going to be enough to make it to the end. But Stewie Moore gets down below, but the seven car. Oh no, that's not Stewie Moore. That is David Aline. Into his um, into Stewie Moore's ride from last season. Yeah, Stewie Moore went from the seven to the 77, and staying with the same team. And David Aline. Able to find an opportunity to get back on the wheel, and he's now in the, in the seven car. He's running eighth right now, so he's having a pretty good race. He's trying to get those points and trying to get that win. Most, more importantly, he's trying to get a win to get himself into the contention, into playoff contention. And a battle for second. Nathan Ormond has just took second place from Landon Smith Jr. And now Ormond is trying to catch the 37. Another battle for second. I think the 16 is looking low. I don't think he has enough to uh, catch the 9, though. So that 9's trying to do whatever he can to catch that 37. Nathan Ormond, he has, he has been on fire the past couple races. He has two wins so far in Season 43. The only driver so far with more than one win. We'll see if he can get his third tonight. 10 to go here at Charlotte. And third place is going to go to Steve Morgan. He just took the spot away. And now 78 in third. And now nine laps to go, and Landon Smith Jr. trying to get his trying to get the position back from Cassie Reynolds in the final laps at Charlotte. At 37, has been hungry for a win. He almost won over, and then of course the mix-up happened under caution, and he was just the unlucky one. And now he's trying to um, stay alive in this fight for the playoffs, trying to get himself in to consideration for making in the playoffs with a win. There's Steve Morgan trying to go, trying to make the, the second, trying to get that second spot from Nathan Ormond. Just eight to go for the number 37 team. He's trying to hang on for the win here at Charlotte. They got Coca Cola on the back bumper for the Coca Cola 600. Not a main sponsor in front, that's Kroger, but, well, it's close enough. We'll see if that will work out in his favor for the 37. Just seven to go. And here comes Steve Morgan to second place. Steve Morgan, can he get second spot away from Nathan Ormond? Trying to make, trying to clear the number nine. That number nine is trying to fight back in the high line. 
As we are heading down to six to go. And it looks like 78's gonna try to clear him, and he does. 78 clears him. Seven, six, six to go here in here in Charlotte. We'll see if anybody has enough for the 37. That 37 is pulled away. He has led the most laps today. Is he going to hold on for the win? As we head down to five laps to go at Charlotte. Nathan Ormond trying to fight back to second spot here. And it could help out the 37 tremendously. Landon Smith Jr. is looking low, trying to find where he wants to go. He's going to the bottom with Nathan Ormond. Might be the right decision. Just four to go at Charlotte. And now Landon Smith Jr. is in the third spot, I think. Trying to take second from the nine. There goes the nine, just cleared for second place again. He's now back in second. And the lead is up to one second for the 37. So it has helped out a lot for the 37, with these drivers battling for the second spot, trying to get those points. Now with three laps to go. And Nathan Ormond is now second again. Landon Smith Jr. running in third. Just two more laps around for the 37 of Alexander Rowe. He just needs two more laps here at Charlotte. Alexander Rowe, he's been looking to get back to victory here today. It's been a long time since Alexander Rowe has had a win in the series. For, the long, for a long time, he's been with Stuart Haas in the 41 car. He's dropped off the map the past couple seasons, but he has made a comeback here this season. He's trying to wrap up a comeback with a win. White flag is out with one to go for Alexander O. The last time he won a race was in season 39. That was back uh, when he had three wins in, the, in that season. Season 39, man, he had three wins. He already has 10 wins in his career, and he's trying to make it 11. Trying to make it one of the biggest, if not the biggest, win of his career. Into the final corner, and here comes Alexander Rowe. He caps off a comeback season. Alexander Rowe takes the win in the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. Alexander Rowe is back in victory lane. A long time coming for the 37 team. And a long time coming for Alexander Rowe. He wins. It has been a while since he last won a race. And now he's back. And he has made a comeback here for the ages tonight at the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Let's take a look at the final results. He had a 1.3 second margin of victory over second place Nathan Ormond and those two competitors really very very competitive and we might see both of them in the playoffs this season sure is going to be a lot of fun to see if these two drivers will go head to head for the championship it's going to be a lot of it should be, it should be a lot it should be a fun playoffs it should be a fun next set of races for these two going up against each other so there's the rest of the finishing order and only five cars retired because we only had two cautions the entire race. Not bad. So they, they were mostly clean other than those two wrecks. Alexander Rowe, your winner at Charlotte and we will see you next weekend. We head to the West Coast uh, once again for another race on the road course at Sonoma Raceway. 
That's our next race coming up for the series. Back on the road course, this time at Sonoma. So until then, we will see you later.